Update 3 on Cyclone Kanaka, the now weakening storm in the Indian Ocean, currently a Category 2 storm on the Sapphire Simpson Hurricane wind scale, 95 miles an hour, 973 millibars at 16.5 degrees south and 81 degrees east as of 2 a.m. Mauritius time on December 21st there. Uh, storm's been moving almost nowhere in the past day now since so it started to weaken. Uh, same latitude and just a little bit further west in terms of longitude over the past day. Uh, upwelling has definitely contributed to a bit of weakening along with less favorable conditions overall. Uh, a bit closer to the rest of the um, islands though that we've been tracking, Rodriguez 1183, Mauritius 1565, and Reunion 1698 miles away. Uh, not very close, but a bit closer than yesterday overall because of that. No warnings in effect right now. Storms significantly far enough away and weakening at a pace that we don't need to worry about any impacts for these places. Uh, it's not going to near them. Salida, again, a little bigger threat for these islands right now, especially Mauritius, it seems, is the scenario. Here's the computer models GFS run. This is the latest one. You can see Kananga on the right side there, weakening and basically stalling out, not really moving that much, while Salida gets un dangerously close to Mauritius and then moves off very quickly to the southeast. You can see Kananga still kind of recognizable in going into mid of next week um, after Christmas before it really dissipates fully. Um, while starting to move further to the south, and then after that, there's no major activity going on. We are not expecting any new developments in the Indian Ocean currently, unless something does change with the models in the near future. Sea surface temperature is still pretty warm, though, not the whole area that both of these systems are in. Uh, 26, 27s, and 28s throughout. Once you get to the bottom of the screen, though, further south, you're obviously going to start to see some cooler temperatures. One more look at the models again. Uh, this is a wind one. Kananga on the right, Salida on the left. Kananga weakening pretty moderately at a good pace over the next few days. Salida dangerously close to Mauritius. Tropical storm force winds may be clipping the island. And you can see going into next week, Salida off the map. Kananga weakening pretty steadily as it starts to move off the map at the end of this as a tropical depression or dissipated storm at that point in time. And again, no development expected beyond this point. Pretty clear overall, looks like no new disturbances in the basin at that time. Chance of the tropical storm force winds, it's been the same throughout all these updates. Zero in Rodriguez, zero in Mauritius, zero in Reunion. The storm is not going to get close enough to impact these islands, fortunately. Although swelling from the storm that's been generating over the past couple days could be producing dangerous river currents near these locations. Track model, this is the model spread right now. Uh, storm has moved very slowly and is anticipated to move slowly, just barely to the west at all in the next couple of days. Uh, we are expecting once we get a few days down the line, the storm is going to start to take a bit of a quicker movement to the west-southwest and eventually more of a southerly motion. Although we aren't really expecting to see too much movement from the storm overall, a pretty slow crawler throughout the uh, open waters of the Indian Ocean uh, throughout the rest of the time forecast period. Animations here, satellite imagery. Uh, obviously a weakening storm compared to yesterday and two days before on the first two updates. Eyes been obscured and clouded over in the most recent frames. We're not really seeing anything too impressive anymore. Definitely still uh, a hurricane with Saffir Simpson hurricane wind scale, impressive cyclone, uh, but definitely not to the level where it's been before. A much weaker storm overall, and we're expecting that weakening trend to continue over the next few days. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website, force13.com, at your service. You can also check us out on YouTube, where you're likely watching this now. Subscribe if you haven't already. You can also find us on Facebook, we're at Force 13, all in text to find our page there. And we're on Twitter, at Force 13 as our handle to find us there. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. All contributions are directly invested back into the project. You can find more information about what we do and benefits with the link in the description, patreon.com forward slash force 13. This video is also helped by our partners, Mateo is Cyclone Maurice, and you can also find us on our Discord server, link below in the description, or use Foil 13 at extension 9094.